Hey everyone, this is a video about MailChimp. I'm going to make my screen a little bigger so you can see everything. This is my dashboard on MailChimp. So when you go in and you log in, this is what you'll see. And we're going to create a list right now. So click on list on the sidebar and just so you can see um, the difference. If you shrink it up, it goes away but um, it's, it's in a little tab. So it's just the mobile responsiveness of the website. So when we click on list, we can go over here and click on create list and it'll allow us to create a new one. So this is gonna be the list for um, podcasts. And the email it's gonna be coming from is me. from me then we're going to write a reminder about how they joined this list so if you happen to have another list and you're just going to be creating several and dividing them uh, up a little differently on how on what page they sign up or different topics you can click on this drop down and it'll allow you to click on something else that you may have already created one for. So you join this on surfix.com to receive updates from the 20 minute investor podcast. If that's not related to what you're doing, just simply edit it. So I'm going to say here, I need to fix that typo on uh, the other one too. You join the newsletter. This is going to be on podcast automation. the podcast newsletter so you can write anything you want there but that's just basically what my topic is change this to my PO box and the reason that they want that is so that way um, there's certain laws about spam so that's kind of to prevent just people going out there and sending a bunch of crap. So I don't want any notifications on this. So I'm just going to let it leave all those unchecked. Click on save. All right, so this is our list, brand new. We have no subscribers yet, and I guess this is as large as the screen is. So what we want to do is edit our sign-up forms. So there's a couple different choices here. You can integrate with a WordPress plugin. You can do a subscriber pop-up on your site. So these are the kind that are like timed, you know, like you go into the website and it'll pop up. Um, embed forms. There's a difference between general forms and embed forms. I'm not going to go into detail about that because I don't use embed forms very often. I don't think that you can modify them as much. Click on general forms. And this will take you to the editor. There's a couple different ways you can do this. When you finish editing this and it's as pretty as you want, you can click on this sign up URL and then this will actually take them to a page. So if they click on a button on your website and you link that button to this URL, this will look, this will be a, a page with this in the middle. So imagine there's like nothing over here and nothing over here. It's just yeah, a blank page with this in the middle. So that's what you're, you're editing to design right there. So if you're going to use MailChimp, um, you're going to link to it like that. You would design this here by editing a few things. So just podcast is the name of the, the list, but we want to say something like this is going to be the main, this is going to be the, the main visual on the page. So it can be a Photoshop image. It could be your banner. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do that, but I'm going to put sign up below that's podcast automation updates okay simple easy peasy so I don't really like how that looks but I would probably use an image anyway 
think you can edit size. Yeah, so you can go in here and do all kinds of fun stuff. I'm trying not to take up too much of your guys' time. Size. Whatever. You can play with that. Creative geniuses. I have several that I put a really unique, awesome banner on, and I don't need their first name and their last name. So when you click on these, you can click subtract, and then you have to type in your confirmation. Let's see, I've done that before. And once it's gone, it's gone from the form. So you might as well just um, create a new one if you make a mistake at this point. The other way to, to get rid of these is if you're, like, say you wanted a phone number in here, instead of deleting it when you click on it, is to change it over here. So I wish I'd shown you that on the last one. Basically, when you click on it, it highlights it, and it gives you the option to add or subtract. And when you want to change things, you can just come over here and change the field settings. So change the label, we'll change this text here. The field tag is basically how it looks in a spreadsheet or in the database. So if it's like phone number, you'd want to edit that. Um, this one I don't think is as, as uh, editable because <laughs> you you've already we've already deleted the others. The Mailchimp logo stays. Um, I think that might go away if you have a paid program, but it's really not that big of a deal. The other way you can integrate this is with some of the amazing different integrations that are out there for Mailchimp. I personally love Lead Pages. I'll put a link for this video into um, Lead Pages so you can check it out. It's really great and uh, it it doesn't require this forms so you create your form your like your form over on lead pages it just puts the people's information that they're putting in that form on lead pages into the mailchimp bucket that you just created here so there's a couple different things you can do on here but that's the gist of creating a list on mailchimp thanks for watching